unknown thong is pure. Unknown thong is unprocessed, unfiltered, raw. The purest language to communicate with God. The purest language to rule over creatures of different realms and dimensions. It gives the Holy Spirit access to take the sound of your focal cavity into different dimensions of God's eternal mysteries to begin to unveil, unlock the plans of God to have access to manifestation. The Bible says the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man. How? It is written, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the Spirit he speaketh mysteries. When we utter unknown tongues, we utter that which is pure and unadulterated. The unknown tongue is pure as there is no meaning allocated to it yet. It is purely under the control of the Holy Ghost, so the Holy Ghost could give it any meaning he desires. You know why when you speak those tongues, your mind is unfruitful, your intellect can understand, humans can't understand, the devils can't understand, human intellectual capacity cannot comprehend it because it is pure. It is called the unknown tongue. So that's why when we pray that unknown tongue, then our spirit is given a certain vibrations through that sound that the Holy Ghost will channel that sound to what it should bring, to what access it should go, to what answers it must bring. The purest of them is groaning. Oh! Ah! Purest sound. Grow! Grow! Let the sound come undefiled. Let the sound come without going through your natural intelligence. Don't let it go through your mind. Release it. Ah! Ah! Shazaya, Shazaya, Shazaya! Ah! Release that new tongue, release that new sound, capture that sound. Let the Holy Ghost use it. Let the Holy Ghost translate it. Let the Holy Ghost use that sound. There's a time when I started uh, praying, but I started uttering certain uh, tongues that I've never ever released in my life. The deep tongue. So as I pray, as I keep on praying, I keep on praying, I keep on praying, I lift my hands up. Then lightning strike my hands, both of my hands, and then it went through my body and it was in my belly, it went straight into my belly. I got like paralyzed. So when I fell to the ground, I started roaring and roaring and roaring and roaring and roaring. So I don't know how, I, I just found myself in front of the, by the altar, but I don't know how I went there. That is the experience that I, I had. During the end of the service, when the bond servant was speaking fire over the congregation, there was a burning that began to well up deep within me and I began to shake shake uncontrollably and then he said there is a wind a wind of fire now in my body I hit the floor and immediately I ascended into the realms. 
Yakradna maka sikirata da sokora de basat. Yamarosa kire se boda sundoro sabada sikiakat. And I began to see a bright light, a door opening, and a bright light unlike anything I've ever seen. I could not see, I could not open my eyes at first. I could not open my eyes at first. But then a roar, 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 roar began to erupt within me. And I began to see the Lord Jesus. Oh